Hello everybody, my name's Dave. <clears throat> and I'm re-resurrecting an old channel I used to have called Cliffside Paranormal. <clears throat> By today's standards, it wasn't very uh, sophisticated channel. I didn't have anything in the way of equipment. But I did get some really uh, uh, results. But then, what happened was, my wife started having situations would appear, which appeared to be uh, a little tiny adjustment here. All right. a good idea. There. Let's see if that looks better. Yeah. That is definitely better. Hopefully the audio is good. I'm a fair ways away from the camera. Um, as I was saying, my wife was having uh, some possibly paranormal episodes when she was trying to sleep at night. And they were disturbing to her. Things along the line of um, well, she said she felt something get in bed with her. She also said she felt something uh, fondling her. Uh, today they would call it inappropriate touching. And at one point I was awake, so I know I wasn't up sleepwalking. And um, generally, the uh, it started out uh, fairly minor, but it uh, quickly um, it quickly got worse. And uh, so I went out and bought some. Uh, forget the name of that stuff. Ceiling or ceiling or something, crystals, which are supposed to protect. Uh, if you put them in each corner of the room, it's supposed to keep the uh, evil spirits away. And then I read somewhere else that says just the opposite, attracts them. I was doing a lot of uh, experimentation with uh, my um, sp spirit box. And a uh, app on my phone called Echo Vox from Big Beard Studios. That was version one and it seemed to work quite well. I, have, uh, I had some really uh, interesting results. One was a communication from my late daughter, and uh, unless it was a, a negative entity trying to uh, fool me by making me think it was uh, my daughter, but uh, the voice, uh, the intonations, the words that she would use when she was alive, uh, it, I was convinced that it was her, and she, it was basically it was a. Uh, not an EVP, but an electronic. Uh, um, there's, um, I don't know if you're familiar with Echo Box, but there's a vocabulary of uh, little bits and pieces of words. And uh, you, you generally don't hear a lot of um, words coming out of it. Although the, the more recent version, version two or whatever it is, uh, you hear a lot of words coming out of it. But in this case, I got a full sentence, and Lisa said, assuming it was Lisa, said, uh, oh, how I love you. And my question was, do you love, do you still love me? And that was the response. I think I still have the, um, have it somewhere on a disc. I'll have to go searching for it. But when my wife started getting, um, 
attacked, I uh, shut it down and uh, closed the channel. Now I'm sorry I didn't uh, keep it. There wasn't a lot going on. One of the things I had a lot of fun with uh, was um, hydro, well some people call it hydromancy and other people have another name which I can't think of, but basically you set your camera up in the dark and um, fill up a, a container, of, usually a metal container, they say iron for some reason is the best, and you put your finger in the water and just gently agitate the water and have the flash take pictures automatically. And boy, I'll tell you, I got some real interesting, real interesting images on that. I've tried to duplicate that since and I uh, haven't had much luck. In September 2020, no, I'm sorry, September 2019, my wife passed from cancer. It was extremely sudden. She got sick on a Friday night. We took her to the hospital and uh, six to eight weeks later she was gone. So I have two reasons for uh, trying to resurrect my old channel. One of course is that I'm still interested in the paranormal. And the other is, um, I'd like to talk to her. Now I did an EVP session right here where I'm sitting with uh, the uh, ITC communication device, sometimes known as the spirit box. And I asked the question, uh, please let me know you're here by saying, hello, or I love you, or something like that. Now, I didn't hear it when I made the recording, but immediately after that, I got, love ya, which is exactly the way Diane would have said it. I was quite surprised to hear that. So I got off to a good start, but it's petered out. I haven't had any experiences whatsoever. I'm not getting anything coming through the spirit box. EVPs are dead quiet, getting nothing. So I dug out this camera, the camera I'm using to film this video. And uh, this is the camera that I used back when I was still working. I think it was 2017, but I can't be sure because I didn't keep it. I got rid of all that stuff when I got the scare. Anyways, I made a recording sitting on the couch over there, and uh, I was just sitting there, and I just uh, said to the world in general, if there's anybody here, please say hello. And I didn't hear anything with my ears. But when I played the tape back, when I took the, uh, actually it's on a digital me media, a uh, little uh, memory card. When I took it to my main computer and played it back, I clearly heard right after I said that. Hello. Just like that. Hello. Freaked me out. <laughs> I was really shocked. That was the first EVP I'd ever heard that clear. When I closed my channel down, I lost that file, so I don't have it anymore. I went looking through some old backups, but I never did find it. So here I am in 2022. God, I never believed I'd lived to 2022. 69 this month. I don't feel 69, but I'm calendar-wise, I am 69.
So I'm thinking seriously of opening the channel again. A lot of my really good results were not done here in this apartment I'm in now, but in a flat above a store where I used to live. That, it, that must have been a good location. I was getting, uh, at first I thought I was getting orbs and then I found out they were only dust particles. And the way you can find out, supposing you're seeing a dust particle coming at me right now, if you take something and go, uh, actually that's not going to work as well, let's try this. You'll see them start to swirl because I've created eddies, then you know it's dust. I did get one orb that came in in a strange angle. Everything else was coming through the door to my room and sweeping to the left. This one came straight through the door and then went straight towards the exit door and then abruptly hung a left, like a 90 degree turn. And it was flashing. Don't know what that was. When I reviewed it, the video, I immediately uh, did an EVP session and an echo box session, but didn't hear anything. Anyways, I was going to do this on my regular channel, Dave's Life Over 65, which I'll soon have to change to Dave's Life Over 70. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe I'm 70, almost 70. Anyways, when I, I decided that uh, just to keep the two channels separate, I will have a distinctly separate um, paranormal channel. i got to figure out how to do that uh, without logging in with a different... Uh, I, I have several email addresses that I designed because I didn't know how to, how to do a separate... Um, channel without a different, uh, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say I, I didn't know how to have two separate channels with the same email access. I'm going to find, I'm going to trick, I'm going to figure out how to do that so I can keep this one separate from the other one. So thanks for watching. Please excuse my munching away but I'm starving. And we'll see what I can come up with. I have, I think I've got Echo Box on my phone. The nice thing about using this camera is my phone is free to do things like look stuff up. I might have pulled it off because it's a huge file, but I can get it back real quick. Upgraded my phone. I swore I'd never buy another Samsung, but the price on this Note 10 was so good buried everything else, I went ahead and bought it. And I'm sorry I did. Samson makes crappy phones. The big problem with this phone is I'll start recording and for no reason at all it'll just stop without any warning. The camera's too far away, I can't see if it's still, if it's still recording. But I think it is. There's an icon of a camera up in the right hand corner, but it's not flashing. Anyways, this is my first video on uh, the new Cliffside Paranormal.